Welcome back, trainer. So we're going to be taking a look at some egg hatches as well as a few trades that I did with the trainer that came to visit up here in Alaska. And he had some pretty unique stuff that he wanted to give me and I had some pottery issues. So we did those trades and I was able to get my gold badge for my distance, which was fantastic. So thank you to you. And we're going to be going over my medals here as we look at some of my egg hatches as well as uh, Deoxys raid towards the end here. I'm going to discuss something that's going on with me personally. So let's go ahead and take a look at these badges while we discuss this. Alrighty, so starting it off with this one here, I'm not going to really talk about them too much. Just going to say what's going on. I will tell you this, folks. I was actually planning to go to GoFest this year. Um, things are a little bit, a little bit tough lately for me, um, going through some things. And before I continue on, this isn't whatsoever any sort of pity thing. Okay, if you noticed uh, the the tone of my voice in some videos lately, I don't sound as enthusiastic as I usually do. It's because the grind is hard, guys. Um, doing this two videos a day, you know, one video a day, usually, you know, I do two, right? I haven't done three in some time because I'm not, I'm not feeling that anymore. And it's as simple as that. Three is a bit much anyways. So the grind, let's talk about it. First of all, here in Anchorage, it's not, you know, the worst place for Pokemon Go. The community is great, that's for sure. Um, it's just to, the expenses are, are a lot. I could walk, but everything is so spread out, I would barely be able to get a video up a day. So there's that gas. Anyways, what I'm getting at is GoFest isn't cheap for a lot of people, okay? And I really would love to go. People keep asking, are you going to go? Are you going to go? But, you know, it's, I don't know, I'm not too sure at this point, to be honest with you. Uh, when I first started doing this, uh, it was very exciting to see how many people were watching and uh, of course you know right when it first started it was very big and anybody who put up a Pokemon Go video would basically get a lot of views and it was very steady for a long time and it is still good right it's just not as good as it used to be and it's partially because of the way YouTube works and the algorithm but I'm not going to be pointing fingers at and making excuses at what is you know what's the problem here what's the problem there it's it's basically what it is right and that's why I put up two videos for you guys, keep you entertained and knowledgeable on what is going on in Pokemon Go, as well as my thoughts on the game, right? And that evolution, man, I used to do so many of those to get my XP up to hit that level 40, the first one here. And it was so fun, and it is still fun, but I don't, I don't do evolutions anymore. I, I, not even close. <laughs> the only time I'm evolving anything is to... Is because I need it for some reason. I'm powering something up or PvP, right? And then we have my eggs here. Hatched quite a few. That's one of the main ways I get my Stardust, as well as I purchase a lot of Pokeballs. We could go downtown, but that's going to contribute to gas. So I'd rather just, instead of buying gas, go to my cluster spawns over here where there's not too many Pokestops and just purchase Pokeballs and grind it out like that. Backpacker. I haven't looked at that in quite some time. I'm almost close to 100,000. Cool. So anyways, where I'm getting at is if you guys want to help me out a little bit more, I do have a Patreon and I'm not asking for much. I only have one tier on there and there's no there's no perks or anything. I haven't messed with it. It's just a dollar. So if you were able to do that, depending on how the performance is and how many people I can get to support me, that is going to make all the difference in me going to GoFest. And I absolutely do not like asking this whatsoever. If you have been a long-time watcher and paid attention to the things I've said before, I'd rather earn my my things myself. I don't want to go out there and ask anybody for anything. It's not a prideful thing. It's just, I, I guess it is maybe, but uh, I'd rather just have my own things. I don't like borrowing stuff. I'd rather it just be mine. All right, there's something I really like. I'd rather just get it myself instead of having somebody else's thing. Oh man, it's sitting right in front of me, but I know it's not actually mine. I'd rather just work hard for it and then have it myself, right? And that's just the way I've always been my whole life. And yeah, so if you can support me, that'd be fantastic. I do have a PayPal as well. And coming up with ideas two times a day for videos is, uh, is a bit difficult, okay? So... 
whenever we do receive some sort of news or anything like that, it's always great. So we can just get that video up for you. And as uh, simple as that. So, yeah, I mean, it's difficult. It is. It is difficult. All right. Especially if you're not continuously getting the shout outs or getting uh, the hookups from Niantic themselves, then you're on your own. Right. That's just as simple as that. So I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that pretty much and, you know, get your thoughts on it. See what you think. Um, it's to the point where I almost kind of I, I don't want to make YouTube my full time job anymore. Um, I just, I just don't know. I think I just rather go get a job, do what I used to do and just stop altogether because it's just, it's too much. And whenever I see the comments, like people saying, oh, you got to hit that 10 minute marker. See, if you don't know how this works, if you hit 10 minutes, you can have multiple ads and not everybody's going to get all of those ads. And that does help my ad revenue my how much I make right and people who make those just nonsense remarks are gonna get insta banned okay I don't I have no tolerance for that there's no room for that I don't need it I don't need people jumping on the bandwagon for that and simple as that yes yes I'm trying to hit 10 minute marks go look at some of the bigger youtubers where their videos are literally 10 minutes in one second all right so I don't see any comments in their section saying oh you hit the 10 minute mark I don't understand what's the personal attack over here. So that's another thing why, you know, if you see those, uh, it's just the way it works, trying to make a living. You don't go to somewhere where somebody's working a full shift and say, huh, trying to get your full hours today, huh? Hmm, hmm. I mean, come on. Of course you're trying to get your full hours. You're trying to make a living, right? That's exactly what I'm doing too. So not, uh, it's, yeah, this, that's, it, this gets really annoying when people say things like that. So I'm just letting it all out here, guys. And um, yeah, I've been going through some troubles pretty much personally in my life. Um, let's say a couple months ago, you may have heard me saying that I was going through some you know, rough patches. And basically what happened was I had major car problems and it, <laughs> it was bad. So uh, I went to one place and they estimated it at $6,000, okay? At that point, I could have just went and bought a new car, but yeah, I had a bit of savings, so it was okay, um, but I, I, there was no way I was able to pay that much. Uh, luckily, I was able to find somebody who was able to fix it for a lot less, let's just say that, but it basically dug into all my savings, and here we are. So I'm trying to pull through and continuously uh, make it and still pump out these videos, and I will tell you this. About 85% of the time that I get on this mic and I sound happy and energetic, it's, it's, not, it's not genuine anymore. It's really not. If we have a pretty cool update that I am excited for, a new shiny or a new Pokemon or a new feature uh, like PvP or something like that that first came out, I'm actually genuinely happy. And a lot of times I am excited. I am, really. I try to just forget everything that's happening around me and focus on the game and how it's going to be amazing and fun. And you know me, I don't do this. I don't make these videos. I don't sit here and I, I hate this. I don't, but I just, I have so many of you watching me now at this point that I need to tell you what's up. I need to tell you how I feel. Um, I don't need to, but I feel like I owe it to you guys. All right. Because I see a lot of you commenting saying, I hope you're all right. I hope everything's okay. And playing back the video before I upload it, I don't want to make myself ever sound like there's something going on behind the scenes that's, you know, some sort of trouble that I'm having. I don't want to make people feel like, oh, something's wrong with Poke. Are you okay, buddy? And I really appreciate everybody. And I'm not mocking anybody who says that. I'm just trying to make the point that I don't want to always get on the mic and sound like something's wrong, right? But a lot of you, I guess, watch me so much that you can genuinely understand and know when I'm upset. And thinking about that just makes me happy that you guys pay attention to how I am actually my well-being. It's very humbling to know that you care. So I just want to say thank you. All right. And um, 
yeah guys so here are my badges that's that's pretty much it i haven't even messed around with the shmurgles i don't i don't even care about the pictures anymore <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at um my shiny pokemon and discuss this <clears throat> a little bit more here so this is going to be my top shiny cool i'm pretty happy about that so yeah what do you think we just did that legendary lunch hour and it was um it was cool saw a lot of nice people a lot of old faces and got <laughs> a few people got a couple of shinies and even somebody they didn't get six today but they're up to six you know who you are if you're watching man that's ah lucky that's really cool i'm just happy i was able to get out there and get you know do these raids use some of these raid passes and get some rare candies i'm stacking up those rare candies quite nicely yet again as well as my tms i'm so good on tms i can switch any move on any pokemon um that i want well not any pokemon that i want but you know the ones that i need i'm stacked up so i could bounce back a few times and not have to worry about it so um i'm not too sure what else i should say right now to be honest with you <laughs> uh i hope you understand where i'm coming from here okay and if some of you are out there like, well, just, you know, just go out there and get a job and upload once in a while. Well, here's the thing. If I did that, I wouldn't, I have to keep up. I have to keep up with the system. I have to keep up with the algorithm. I have to just keep going and grinding. And uh, I want it to be a full-time thing. And if it's not a full-time thing, then I don't really want to do it. Um, it's like, go all in or don't. Don't do it at all. That's just the way I think. Um, yeah, I guess it's I guess it's my uh, destruction, I suppose. So yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. Yes, um, I was planning to go to GoFest, and it still might happen. I'm not too sure, but the way things are looking right now, I I don't know. I don't know about it. Um, because uh, it, it, I'd rather just take the money that it would cost to go to GoFest. And have a little bit of security here and be able to do stuff with my son um, as we speak he's just downstairs hanging out by himself and a lot of times that I'm editing which is most of the day and if I'm not editing that I'm trying to find content and that's pretty much it and he's always with me a lot of the time he's not always with me I have him like uh, three days of the week and but it sucks because whenever he does hang out with me, I'm, I'm just editing or grinding. And it's there's never really too much personal time. Um, after this, we're going to order a pizza, watch something. So it should be some good times there. But I'm like literally watching his childhood just go away for this channel. All right. I mean, I feel like I'm getting slept on a lot of times. So it's just it's really heartbreaking to to break bring this to you guys um and actually think about it in this way and this agron that was actually a time where i was genuinely happy <laughs> that was crazy uh i actually put rare candies into it so we can power it up and shimmy shake <laughs> agron knows how to make me laugh he just has to do that shake and he can make me laugh but um yeah don't think i'm just like fake over here with, with the reactions and there's no way i'm not doing like shiny re reactions right if I get one, I talk about it, and that's pretty much it. They, I don't do live streams or anything like that, um, but for the most part, guys, it's genuine over here. I'm, I am, I love the game. I love Pokemon. I've been, you know, in the Pokemon game ever since I was a child. Yes, I mispronounce a lot of the names, but forgive me for that. Just the way I am. All <laughs> right, ah uh, man, the good old days when Gen One was only around, when things were a lot more simpler. But yeah, so anyways, guys, I don't know. Um, that's pretty much it, what's going on here. Just thought I'd let you know. I don't know, these shinies. <laughs> this is all the work. A lot of community day, Pokemon. There's that Latios, my only one. It's pretty good. I'm happy I got it. It's awesome. And then there's my prize Raichu. So anyways, trainers, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like usual, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, I have a Patreon. If you want to support me for a dollar or more, that'd be fantastic. And with that said, trainers, I'll catch you all next time. Take care.